Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another painting with Harold. And I am Harold. And tonight we have an 11 by 14 inch canvas turned on landscape. We already have a thin even coat of liquid white. My colors today are titanium white, Prussian blue, Midnight Black, Lizard Crimson, Sap Green, Cad Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, and the Evil Bright Red. Okay, one of the things I've done already is I took some Lizard Crimson and Sap Green and I made me a brown. And I put just a little more Crimson than I did Sap Green. I wanted it a little to the red color. But... You can make sure it's however you want. All right, I'm gonna pick up a one inch brush and I'm gonna go right into some cad yellow first. And we'll tap some on the brush. And I just wanna come up here and just come across, and just give myself a little, little color up here. Nothing real fancy, just Putting in a little, little color is all, about like so. And then I want to come right into without cleaning the brush, right into some yellow ochre. And I want to come right above that color, about like so. And I want to set it right on top of that yellow, right on top of that cad yellow, about like that. like so. Then I want to come into just a very, very little bit of Midnight Black. I don't want much of this at all. Just a very little bit. And then I want to go into just a little bit of the Crimson. Just a, just a small amount. And that Crimson will... Uh, give that midnight black's already got a little lavender hue to it but this will give it even a, a little butter hue and it'll keep that that yellow from turning uh, green if we touch it but we just want to come up here and just just lightly cover the sky with it I don't know what's wrong with the birds tonight we had a real loud boom on our end of town a little earlier. I don't know what happened, but it's got them all upset. They have been, I don't know. Maybe they'll calm down in a minute. All right, about like that. That's all we need. Then we'll take a clean, dry brush. And I'll come up here. And I'll just start lightly blending. And I'm blending from the light color up. Just like so. Now you don't want to carry this, this dirty brush back down into your, your other yellow. If you do, it'll, it'll get real dirty down there. That's not what we're looking for right now. All right, now I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna tap in just a little bit of that same color, that midnight black and crimson. And we'll just come across here and just tap us on a little light color, just real light. Don't take a lot of this. Just to, just to give us some little, little cloud formations up here. And like I said, it, it don't take a lot of this color. It don't take a lot of it at all. We just give us a couple of little clouds here and there. That's about all we need. All right, we're not going to wash this brush just yet. We'll hang on to it. Then I'll take a clean, dry one-inch brush. And I'll come up here and just 
kind of hypnotize these clouds just a little bit, just to kind of soften them down. Just real lightly pulling and lifting them up at the same time. Just real light. Just real light. Just just softening them down. That's all I'm doing. And then just very softly bring them across. That's all I'm doing. And just like that, we got a pretty little sky. All right, now with this two inch brush, I'll go back over here into my midnight black and I'll tap some of it on. And we'll just come down here and we'll just start tapping. Because we need to we need to put the dark color. We're going to have some dark color down here. So when we start adding grass or whatever, we already got a dark base. And the reason I'm tapping is because it, it gives you that texture. Um, and it's it's practice, you know. It gives you it gives you some practice with your brush. Cause a lot of people have problems with the two inch brush, just like they do that knife. They say, well, that brush is way too big. But now, if you had a if you had a classroom and it was full of kids, and you told them to use this two inch brush. They wouldn't know no better. They, they wouldn't know that this brush is, is this big. And uh, they'd use it. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just, it's in your mind that, you know, you got this, this big brush and it's intimidating. That's all it is. No Bob, he used to say, you put this on down here with a boot, it won't matter. And he's right. It, you know, it really wouldn't matter. But the reason the reason I like going ahead and tapping it on is it gives you that texture that you're going to be looking for in the grass here in a few minutes anyway. Plus, like I said, it, it's practice. It lets you get used to that, that feel. Because learning this technique, a lot of it, a lot of times, it's just, it's just a feel. You get the, you get the feeling of how these brushes work and how they, how one movement will make one spot and then one way, and another movement will do something completely different. That's about all we're looking for down here at the bottom. Just something to. Something to build on, just a dark color. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we're gonna put that one in the thunder for now. And I will pick up my, I'm gonna use my little knife for this. I'm gonna pick up my little knife and I'm gonna come up into that brown I made and I'm gonna pull me a little spot out flat and get me a little small roll of it. And I want to come right up here and I'll come across here and give myself a little peek. I'll bring it out kind of wide. I don't I don't want a real steep mountain today. I want this one kind of kind of wide. And I'll give it a little another little peek right there. Still keep it, keep it wide. I hope somebody uh, didn't get hurt earlier, cause we had a heck of an explosion out here. It was bad loud. I don't know what happened. And I hadn't heard any sirens or like fire engines or anything going to a 
car ambulances or nothing for that matter. So I don't I don't particularly know what happened. Alright. Not like that's what we're looking for on that side. Come up here and scrape out some of this color. See how that brown's a little a little more to the red side? And that's what I got by mixing my own. Right, and I'll come out over here just a little bit. I don't want a uh, huge mountain in this painting. I just want a little little mountain back here that that'll uh, that'll work. That's about like that's all we need as far as the mountain goes. And I'll come in here and I'll scrape all this out. Come and get as much of that paint out of there as you can. Just be careful not to go outside your line. Or else we'll be making some birds. <laughs> Alright, about like that. Then we'll grab that little one inch brush that we had earlier. That we made the clouds with. And we'll come in here and we'll lay it down. Real flat like. Pull this color out. Not like so. And we'll come in on this side. Do the same thing. Come up in here and grab some of that. Pull this color out. Not like so. about all we're looking for. Now I'll knock a little color out on my paper towel over here. Try to get as much of it out as I can without destroying anything or making a mess of anything. I like so. <coughs> okay. Alright, then we'll get ready to. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and wash these brushes for they pile up on me. I only got a couple of one inch brushes I need to wash right now. You get behind on your brush washing, they'll, they'll pile up on you pretty quick. The other night, I think I had seven or eight that uh, I had to wash of the big brushes and several of the small brushes. And I got to apologize to y'all again. I was, uh, I did a video last night. And uh, somehow or another, I don't know what happened, but about halfway through that video, my camera swapped over to slow motion. And I don't know if I hit the wrong button or what. Because I did stop it to uh, run upstairs. And when I came back, I just turned everything back on. And apparently, I didn't get everything turned on right because it it recorded that second half in slow motion, and it was it was pitiful. <laughs> wow, I'm telling you, it was 
my hand was doing this. I was like, oh man, we can't use that. Alright. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to pull me out some white. And I'm going to take just a little bit of this brown I got made up over here. Just a little bit. And we'll bring it into the white. And it can be, you can leave it kind of marble mixed. It don't have to, you don't have to mix it up real, real good. And I'm going to come right up here. And I just want to start adding a little color on. Just a little. Pulling it down real lightly, let it break. That's all we're doing. <coughs> Just real lightly, Just let it break. What I ended up doing with that video was uh, I made a like a little short out of it and posted it. So y'all may have seen that anyway, you know, that part of it. Come up here. I said I said a lot in that video that I hate y'all didn't get to hear. I don't remember what I did say now, but I thought I think some of it was important. <laughs> I know I got tongue tied in a couple places in it, if y'all believe that or not. And I promise you I don't drink. I don't I don't consume alcoholic beverages in any shape, form or fashion. But if you you watch some of these videos, you you think that that's all I do is drink. Now I had a cup of coffee when I came down here, but I finished it. I sent my wife a text message, and she probably come get my cup and and uh, go back up, and she probably make me a cup and bring it back down here to me. I'm that lucky that I got a wife that's that good to me she's a she's a good lady and I'm not just saying that because she watches my videos sometimes she uh she really is <clears throat> something y'all didn't know about me is uh my first wife uh she passed away of breast cancer in, uh, in 2005 and uh, our daughter was 15 at the time and <laughs> it's a uh, it's pretty rough trying to get a 15 year old girl to to grow up without a without a mother figure when you're not as uh What's the word here? I'm not, I'm not really that, that, uh, feminine, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I always have been more of the outdoors type and I brought my daughter up that way too. You know, she, she spent a lot of time in the outdoors with me and me and her had some, we had some really good times, but, you know, 
the young lady needs her mother. Because there's a lot of things that I couldn't, well, I mean, I could have, but I just, I didn't feel comfortable talking to her about certain things. And, you know, it just, it made me uncomfortable to talk about some of it. But the good Lord really, uh, he really looked out for me. <laughs> He's been looking out for me for a long time now. He, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm proof that, that he takes care of idiots. I'll say that. Because I was, uh, I've done some pretty messed up stuff in my life. And he, uh, he seen me through it took care of me and like I said I just I didn't think I'd ever get lucky enough to find another lady woman like my my first wife but I did I'm telling you I got I was blessed I've got a uh, got a really really good wife right now that She and I dated for quite some time, and uh, she got along great with my daughter, and I got along great with her boys, and we just, we became a, we became a new family. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. It was, we're just all... We got along. I got along with the boys. She got along with my daughter. And the kids got along. So it, it was really a blessing. Alright. What I'm doing right here is uh, I'm using this Midnight Black just to do my shadow with over here. I'm not going to leave it this dark. I'm going to I'm going to come back with another color, but I had to have it, I had to have the dark down. You know how that is. You got to have dark to show the light. And I wanted this, this dark to, to really be in here. over here into my light color. I might have just a little more white. I'm gonna give me a little roll. I'm gonna come right up here. Just come right over my come right over my shadow color there. like so. <clears throat> See how it gave it those ridges? It gave it like pretty deep cuts in the in the mountain right there. Because every light spot's got to have a shadow. Or it won't work. If there's not a shadow behind it, it just, it will not show up right. All right. Now I want to take a little bit of white by itself. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do since it's already there. I'll just take a little bit of Prussian blue and I'll bring it into this white and brown color that we just used for highlight. That way that little bit of brown that's in there kind of grayed it down So, Yeah, that's a pretty color. Then we'll come back up there and use that color for our shadow. And we'll put that shadow color over the over the dark. Plus for this side, we're gonna come back over that with the another color here in just a second. But until then we'll come back up here and we'll just go to and I'm using the little side of the brush here. And we'll just come up here and start putting this on a little, little shadow. 
real easy. Let that let that paint break. Cause you want to save some of the darks now. You don't want to you don't want to cover up all your dark, especially now. This is just a real light touch. Just a real light touch like that. <clears throat> Come up in here behind that little mountain. That little peak. We'll pull it out. About like so. And it don't take a lot of uh, a lot of paint on your shadow side. It don't take near as much on this side as it does your highlight side. That dark spot right there looks like a almost like a ravine cut down in there. I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to kill it. That was a little happy accident right there. I'd like to be able to claim it that I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't. <laughs> I can't lie to y'all. I didn't have a clue it was going to work out like that. But it sure did work out. Worked out kind of good right there. I like that. I'm going to try to stay away from it because if not, I'll be done killed it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how I made it. So I don't know that I could make another one. This looks like a dark spot with a little light color on top of it, basically. That's all it is. All right. We got a little bit, not a lot, but we got a little bit of sunlight over here. So I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come into some white, clean white, and I will pick up just a little bit of Indian yellow and just a little bit of Cad yellow, and I'll mix these colors together. Even kind of, kind of streaky, kind of marbled, to where they, when you put them on a knife, they'll all come off at certain times. They'll do whatever they want to do. We'll just come up here and just touch in different little areas. We don't need this color everywhere up here. Just, just in a couple places. Make it look like a little bit of light just zooming across there. Here and there. And just touch and pull a little bit. And it'll it'll fade away right into that right into that brown color, that light brown color. If you just take it real easy, it'll just it'll just fade away right into it, just real lightly. And this is just a real light touch. Is all it is. That's all it is. Just a real light touch. Just kind of let it. Fade away. See how it's just how it's just fading down into that that color. <coughs> it just looks like it's saturated with light. And it's just a real light, real light touch. And that's all it needs to be. I mean it don't need to be 
It don't need to be no more than that. And you can bring just a little of it over here if you want to and just just kind of zing it through a couple places what's left. It ain't going to be much of it. But you can, you can bring it over like so. And that's about all we're looking for right there. Unless you want to go back with some of the some of the darker color and that's entirely up to you but if you do don't don't put a lot in in one spot kind of kind of just touch it around and, and leave it you know don't don't pile it up in one spot all right we'll leave that about like that i'm happy with that Now we'll pick us up a two inch brush and we'll come down here, let's do this side first. We'll come over here and just at the angle of our mountain, we'll just come in here and just lightly tap across and go up into it, just real light, about like so, following that same angle, that's all we want to do. Just follow that same angle. And we'll knock some of that color off. We'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. This is just a real light tap. It's not a it's not a hard tap at all. Just real light. I'm trying to make a little mist. And if you need to. You can come up there and get you just a little bit of white. You come back and just tap you some white across the bottom here. Don't take much, just a little. Just in different spots. You can use that white to kind of lighten these colors down some. And it'll add more to your to your mist effect than, than those dark colors. You just don't want to pile it white in there to where it's, it, it won't look right if you put too much white. Right. Then we come up here and pull it in the same direction. And when you do this, when you pull up, make sure you lift before you get to the edge up here. So you don't pull the paint completely off your, off your edge, you know what I'm saying, into the sky. Because uh, if you do, it'll... It'll definitely pull that paint out. All right, and then just lightly come across the bottom and just kind of blend out some of the some of the marks. And just like that, the bottom of our mountain has has a it's just sitting there in mist, like it's just floating in it. We don't have to wash this brush just yet. I'll tell you what we're going to do, or what I think will look good if we go ahead and do this next, is uh, clean that edge up a little bit. I think it'll look real good if we uh, take that little oval brush. to a little bit of the brown that we made and it's not going to take a lot of this because I want these to kind of look way back if I have to if I had to come in here and uh, add a little white I will but basically what I want is I want some some little trees that just look real way off in the distance back here. Just way off in the distance. You can do some short and some tall. And that way it'll leave some mist in between them. Not like so. I just want them 
just want them real, real, real light. I don't want to. They don't all have to be. They don't all have to be the same size. Just make sure you make sure you leave yourself some mist in here. Because that mist is going to be your separator right now. That's what's uh, that's what's telling the viewer that there's a distance between the line of trees and the mountain itself. All right, we're gonna put some we're gonna put some bigger trees in here on this side. I know this side for sure, so probably that side too. But I know this side's gonna have a couple big trees in it. I can already see it in my mind. So what I want to do right here is just kind of I don't want a lot of paint in here. So I can stop this line right here. I don't want no whole lot of paint in these trees because I do want them far off. I'm going to still come back in there with some highlight. This is going to be a real, real pale highlight. It's not going to be nothing, nothing real. real bright. It's going to be just a little bit of green. What I'm going to do is put just a little bit of Prussian blue on that same brush. And I'm going to come up here and pick up just a little bit of cad yellow. And I'm going to mix it right on the brush. And that's going to give me a, going to give me a green. And if I keep putting yellow in it, it'll it'll tone that green way down. And then that way when we come back up here and go to touching, it'll just add a little green a little green flavor to it. You'll 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 be able to see the green but you won't be able to to really make it out perfect. It'll be like Way off in the distance. With a little bit of yellow hitting it, that's all. We don't want nothing real real prominent in here right now. Or real bright. We just want it way back in the distance. Like it's 40 miles back there. Maybe 50. <laughs> Every now and then if you want to throw a little of the ochre in there with it. You can do that. Just don't let it, don't let it get real, real prominent or real noticeable. Because we want these to look like, like I said, just the trees. And we still want you to be able to tell that there's, you know, distance between that mountain and these trees. So. I know that's a lot to keep in mind, but that's that's what it's going to take to sell this illusion right in here is is doing all these little things that that add up later. When you sit back and you look at it, because this paint, when it goes to drying, that, that paint's going to set a little darker than it looks when you put it on. So you come back tomorrow and look at this. This green and yellow will be—it'll be, be kind of more noticeable than it is tonight. And you'll see it, and you'll say, "Oh wow, look at that!" Plus, if you're sitting up close while you're painting this, and you're looking at it, you may think, "Ah, that don't look right." And you're going to put on more paint than you need. So whenever you, whenever you paint, and you want to check out what you're doing. Just get up and, and take a couple steps back from it to where you can really see it. Where you can really see what it's what it's doing. But you just kind of want it to just kind of fade away down at the bottom. 
And that way if we, uh, well, i tell you what I'm going to do at the bottom. I'm going to put a dark color at the bottom. When, uh, I'm going to come in here with a little bit of dark color and make it look like there's distance under them. But first I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my, my script liner brush and get it in a little thinner. And we'll come right here into this same color that we just used for the bushes to make them. And I just want to come in here with a little little indication of, of sticks and twigs back here, just real real light colored, or you know, just straight lines more or less. Cause I'm just gonna go back over them and just kind of tap them down some. And make it look like, make it look like they're tree limbs back here that we can see, but not great. Because we don't want a lot of detail. And none of that right now. That's the last thing we want. Just kind of come back at the in spots, you know, at the bottom or about halfway up these little twigs we just made and just kind of lightly tap over them. And that some of them will stay and some of them will get covered up. And it don't really matter what stays and what don't because it's going to, it's going to leave enough that the whole effect will, will just work. See that? how distant they look now. And when we come in here at the bottom of that dark color, it'll just, it'll, it'll look totally different. And it won't, well, let's go ahead and put that dark color in where you can see what I'm saying. Cause it's not gonna be real dark. It's just gonna be enough to, that you can see it. I'm not washing the brush. <coughs> I'm leaving it the same colors. I'm just gonna come in here and just, just tap on along the bottom. Just a little darker, that's all I'm doing. Just a little bit darker than, than what's up there. Cause then I'm gonna come back with a, with a little bit of color and touch just the tops of some of these, but not much. Just don't, I mean, everything's gotta be way off in the distance here. We don't want nothing too close yet. And that's where that's where changing color. Darks against light, light against dark. That's where that comes into comes into play. It really really helps things a lot. See how that's, just don't let it be in a straight line. Just kind of, you just want it to be a little dark. Just, just a little. About like so. Then you can come back up here now and, let's see. I think if we come in and give us a little bit more to sap green, instead of blue this time. We can make this color a little bit better. And we'll come right here and just tap on just a little bit. And this color is going to be totally different green than that, that other one that we just used. But even at that, we don't want much of this. We just want little indications. Just real, real light indications of color. And just leave some dark. Got to have some dark back here. That dark's going to be our separator. I like that. Just enough to make it look like a little, like a little bush line running across the bottom back here. In front of our, in front of our grass and and it's got all them trees back in behind it. 
that like so. And I think that'll do it with that for that brush for now. Then we'll pick up our two inch brush. And I'll get just a little bit of thinner on it. Just a little bit. And I'll come over here into this yellow color. And I'll pick up just a little bit of yellow ochre. A little bit of Indian yellow. Mix all these colors together. Just a little bit more thinner. This paint's got to be it's got to be thin. Now you can use liquid white too. I mean you ain't got to use thinner. I just uh I mean, my thinner's sitting right here beside me, so I just just use it a little bit. And just bring all these colors in. Push that brush up, get that little that little ridge of paint out there on that on the end of that brush. <clears throat> and then come right up here and just, just go to tapping on some some grass color through here. Not like so. See that's what we wanted that dark on here for. So we could when we came in here to put our grass on. We already got us a dark color up here. bit more set green. Tap it on. Come over here. And don't forget we're gonna have big trees on this side, so be sparing with the paint. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta put a lot in this side. Bright red or it'll uh, tone that green down some in, in a couple spots and just make it look, it'll kind of dull it down some. Just give it a little, just a little different flavor across them spots. Not like that, that's all we're looking for. Alright, now I want to. I don't want to wash that brush just yet. I'm going to hang on to it. I want to take a one inch brush. And those little bushes that we put that green on a minute ago. I want to come up there now and just, just touch them. Just touch that green color. Just real lightly. And let it mix with that color that's on the, the bush already. And it'll kind of just... Blend the colors together a little and kind of mist it out to give it that far off look. Then I'm going to come back up here with the same one inch brush. Let's see. I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's do this. I'm going to come up here, let's say, let's say about right here, come on, let's see how I want to do this, I think I want to sit right in here. I'm going to put in just a little indication of a, 
a little barn back here. I think it looks good with a, a little barn sitting in this meadow back here. Not like that. And we'll come up here and let's pull this straight down. About so. We'll come on this side. Kind of pull it straight down. I don't know anybody wants some birds. Send them, send them my way. Cause these, these rascals are being annoying tonight. All right, so I'm gonna come over here on this side. Pull us down a side in here, like so. Just the indication of where we want everything. Then we can come back in here in a few minutes and do a do a barnectomy. Get everything where we want it. straight down like so I think this old barn would would probably look better if it was uh kind of raggedy looking I don't think we need a I don't think we need a good barn back here all right so I'm gonna pick up some brown color that we made and we'll come right in here. And we'll just pull it straight down. Like so. And we'll come under the... Alright, we got to come over here with our ease. Like so. And we'll pull that color straight down. Like so. You know, if they needed food or water, I could understand them sitting there screaming. But I know they don't. My wife said that it might be a good idea for me to introduce my dogs to y'all and I would really I would really like y'all's opinion on that if y'all would like for me to take some pictures of my dogs since y'all do hear them sometimes barking and carrying on if y'all like to hear some, see some pictures of them, or maybe even a little small video I put something together in the in the middle of say one of the uh, paint videos or something of my boys. If y'all like to see something like it, come in on it and say, yeah, I'd like to see them or. Whatever. Or no, I don't, I don't care nothing about seeing them. <laughs> but they, they are. They, they some they some cute little boys. They are miniature dachshunds. And <laughs> they are a 
they are a mess. I mean, that's all I like to say. They, uh, whew, they're a mess. <laughs> I can't, I can't say no more than that. They, uh, they are a mess. All right. I got, I'm going to pull just a little bit of this red. And I'm going to go into this white and blue color that we made for the shadow up here. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit of brown. And I'm going to mix up a whole, just a whole conglomeration of colors here. And I'll cut me off a little roll. And I'll come right up here at the roof. And I just want to tap on this color. Just, just tap it on the roof. I want it to look kind of raggedy across here. Bring this in here and keep it kind of kind of straight. Just a little bit. Not like so. And you can make up here and just just tap. That's all I want to do. Just tap this color right on. <coughs> I want this roof to look kind of kind of raggedy. Which here lately, everything I paint looks ready. Well, speaking of my boys out here, I'm barking up there now. Imagine that. I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with that breed or not, but I'm here to tell you, Dotsons are they are a special breed of dog. I mean, they are. I mean, they have a mind of their own. They they, they bark at wind. I mean, it don't it don't matter to them what it is. They they just feel like they got to bark at everything. And I appreciate the fact that they, you know, they think they've really protected something. But, you know, truth be known, they're not. <laughs> they're not protecting anything. And like I've said many times, they were, they were both rescues. And uh, their saving grace is the fact that they're cute. I mean, that's it. Because if they were not cute, I'm telling you, I don't know. But my wife told them the other day, she said, I'm just to carry you out to the vet, and I'm going to have your vocal cords removed. Of course, she wouldn't have them removed. She was... She's crazy about both of them. As am I. I love them. I ain't gonna sit there and lie about it. I thank the world of both of them. Alright, now we gotta we gotta kinda lighten it. This side here's kinda crooked. I don't really like that too much. We gotta straighten this side up. We 
get to leave the side dark. We already know that. So if we can pull down a little bit of this color just to give it that old wood look over here. Not much. About like so. Then we'll come up here on this side. Pull down a little bit, and we'll come right here and pull down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna grab my little knife now so I can get in these tight spots. And come right back up here. Go to pulling this color down. Clean this roof line up. like so. This side's going to have to Stay a little dark too because our light's coming from that way, so it's not really hitting this this barn anywhere direct on. But we will lighten it up just a tad in the front. I don't want to run myself from about right in here down. We'll kind of we'll kind of give it a. Just a little lighter, lighter look. Because you gotta have that difference in color, you know. You always gotta have that. That'll help where it makes that corner hit. Because we got to come back up here in a few minutes and do a barnectomy on him. As soon as we get the perspective right, I still ain't happy with the perspective just yet. That's a little better. A little better. Still ain't right. We'll bring this side down some. Like so. And this is going to be straight out here. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Okay. I'm try to try to fix this roof a little bit without messing it up. Not like so. Then we'll put just a little bit of brown on the small end of the knife. And we'll come up here and give ourselves some some boards. Just an indication of some old, old boards in here. And we'll put some on the side over here. Don't take many, just a couple. And we'll pick us up a little midnight black. And we'll come up here and we'll give him a little door. So I'm pretty sure we got us a cow or two somewhere out here. 
that can get in and out of the barn. Or if it's an old abandoned barn, we probably got some some wild animals that want to come in there and get refuge from the weather from time to time. But whatever. If it wants to go in there, it's more than welcome to now because there's nobody out here to run him off now. Alright, I'm going to pick us up just a little bit of white. Put us a bit of highlight around our door. Just a little bit, it don't take much. Just a little bit, about like that. And we're going to need us a path in here, so let's take us a little bit of brown and come up here and put us in a little path. About like that. Just just a little something. Don't take much. Just make sure it's wider out here at the bottom. Not like so. Then bring in just a little bit of highlight, using that same color that that we've been using everywhere else through here. A little bit of that blue come out in that, and uh, that might give it a kind of a rock look right there. That didn't look bad at all when that happened. Just bring some highlights across here like so. Gotta be perfect, just just a little bit here and there. All right, I'm gonna pick my brush back up. It's got my grass colors on it, and we'll come back up here. Tap it on. Give me a little more green. And we'll come right here under my barn and go ahead and put that grass right there. And put some in here at the path. Just come over to the path, that's all you got to do. Just come over and just slightly touch the path. I like so. Give it a little flavor change in there from time to time. Then we'll come on this side and do the same thing. We'll come across here with our with our grass in front of our barn. Then we'll come over here to the path and just pull us in some pull us in some color. Not like so. Not like that. That's all we're looking for for now. Alright, then we'll pick up a little bitty fan brush. And we'll come up here and I'm just going to slightly give the little path, kind of like a little U-shape, bring some of the, some of the color out to meet the grass like that, kind of clean it up some, and that'll make it look like the, that'll make it look like the grass is kind of sitting on a, on a little hill over here, where it pulls up to it, and 
that ain't really enough highlight, so I'm going to pick up a little yellow ochre. And I'll come into that sun color we made earlier up here. And I'll just, I'll just lightly touch that on here and there. Come back and get a little more. Just like so. Don't take much. That's about all we're looking for. Now we're going to come back and clean this grass up in a little bit. But we're not going to do that till we get these big trees in here. So you can go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I'm going to use this two inch. No, I ain't. Yeah, I can. I can. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to use two inch. I'm going to use one inch. I'm going to pick up the one inch brush and I'm going to go right over here into the brown. And I'm just going to tap some on. And I'm going to come up here in the clouds and just just kind of lightly tap on some just kind of some tree shapes. Leave some spots in there for the for the sky to be seen through. And just kind of tap it on at random. This will be a this will be a pretty decent sized tree right here. It's it's probably gonna go all the way out to canvas as far as uh, the trunk. But we just wanna just kind of leave some leave some. Uh, light spot up here for the sky to shine through and come back up and just kind of just kind of tap it in that's all you got to do so about right there about like so alright then we'll pick up our script on a brush and we'll carry it right in the thinner no I tell you what I tell you what we'll do this will be a lot more fun Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my uh fan brush and I'm gonna alright first I'm gonna take my knife. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna get a little bit of the brown and pull it out over here and pull it flat. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna come into this color over here that's got all that red and uh, the color we used on the roof and then I'm going to bring that white and yellow color in over here for that and I'm going to mix it all together right here and maybe a little more white that way it's got a little bit of all kind of colors in it we got all kind of flavor alright I'm going to take my fan brush into the thinner and I'm going to come into the brown that we made. I'm just going to pull one side through it. Then I'm going to come over to the side to the color, the light set color that we just made. So I got dark on one side and light on the other. And our light's on that side, so we want the light color on that side. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to pull this this color down and then the further I go down the harder I'm going to push on that brush and see how it put put some light on that side and then I will take my script liner now and go up here <coughs> and pick up just a little bit of this this brown color and I'll draw in a couple couple little limbs here and there I'm pretty sure these are going to get covered up with some highlights 
But if they all don't, and some of them show, you know, what we see, that's just a bonus. And we're not above bonuses. Everybody loves a bonus. But we just come up here and give ourselves some, some limbs at random. Because we're going to be... We're going to be covering all that up. I mean, I know we are. Most of it anyway. Alright, now we will... I got to put out a little bit more CAD, y'all. Because, uh... For some reason, I never put out enough. Now I'm going to take that same one inch brush that we did the color with. I'm going to wash it that quick. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick me up a little bit of green. And I'm going to come over here into my yellow. And I want just a little bit of thinner on that brush. Cause this paint's gonna have to be kind of thin. Now you don't want to get it too thin because if you do, it's gonna it's not gonna do what you want it to do up here. It's gonna it's gonna do what it wants to do. Let me tell you that much. Make sure the bristles are good and open. Color we're looking for is just a kind of a light green. You can bring a little of the yellow ochre in there just to kind of tone it down some. All right, with just a corner of the brush, I want to come up here and just barely touch. Just barely touch. Now this is a very light touch. This is not. This is not an aggressive touch at all. Just very light. It's very light. Make sure you leave yourself some darks. And leave some uh leave some of the uh sky showing through in places. But if you leave a few spaces in this tree, it'll it'll look like old bird and you cut coming there and land on a limb somewhere and rest and take him a little break before he's got to go somewhere else, you know. Now, if you've seen what I did right there, the reason I got a little darker up there is because it's further up in the sky, and uh, I think the light's kind of more or less coming across like this. I think. That's, in my mind, that's what's happening. If you want to highlight the, in, in, you know, the the entire outside of this tree, by all means, do that. You know, this is this is your painting. If you're doing this painting, and in your world, you you do it however you want to do it. Don't don't try to copy my painting. I mean, paint your paint yours the way you want it to look. Because one thing I found out, if, if I paint a painting the way I want to paint it and it don't work out right, then I seem to learn more that way. If that even makes sense. If somebody tells me to do something and I try to do it the same way they do it and it don't work out, well, I get, I get a little more frustrated. Because I say, well, that's exactly how he said do it. And why didn't it work, you know? Then I get to thinking crazy thoughts, you know, like, there's, there's got to be a secret to it. They just don't want to tell me. And there's not a secret to this. It's just, it's all in the way you load the brush. It's all in, in the consistency of the paint that, you know, that next 
that next little bit of that next little layer of paint that you use and basically what all you got in mind you know you don't want to you don't want to touch some spots with, with heavy pressure and some spots with light pressure you just got to learn where to do what and all that comes with practice that's just all it is I mean it's just practice and I know you get sick of hearing that but like if you're watching me paint right now and you think well you know and, and believe me my paints don't to me they don't look as good as I want them to sometimes and then sometimes you know it'll come out and you'll be like wow and you'll surprise yourself but the thing of it is if it don't come out the way you want it to well don't don't get frustrated about it just next time try a little harder alright I want this spot back here in the back to stay kind of dark so if I come across here with a lot of light colored grass it's going to kill that whole effect back there so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tap some of this color off my brush and I want to come in here and I want to put just a couple couple light spots here and there just to make it look like maybe the sun's catching it in, in different places but I don't want it I don't think I want it everywhere. I just want to do I just want to do a couple places like that. I think that'd be more effective. What do y'all think? Like over here, I don't want to put a lot of light back there. I want that spot to remain dark. And I don't want a lot of light in here. So I just want to kind of just work it back to where it looks, to where it looks right, you know. And maybe a little bit out here on the far end, but even out here, not much. I, I don't want a lot nowhere, really. I'd say that that ought to do it. Not like that. I don't even think I need to bring no white in there. Maybe just a hair bit yellow. Just a little bit, maybe right in here. Cross like that. Make these just a little longer. Just not much. And then come around the bar and kind of clean it up some. the path yeah I'd say about like that's all it really needs and I was gonna bring a tree down on this side I don't really know if it needs a tree on that side or not huh. I don't think I'm gonna do one now but I do think I'm gonna come up here now and and uh, take a little bit of this brown. Come out here. And we'll put me in a little indication of a fence post right there. One about right there. One about right there. I'll even put one over here on the rear end. Make him off the canvas. And I'll put one right here at the edge of the path. I like so. And I'll bring one over here on this side of the path. Right there. Not 
like so. Better clean them up now, because they don't really, they don't really look like fence posts. I don't really know what you say they look like. For some reason they ain't wanting to pick up that little roll. Paint trying that crazy. There we go. Sometimes it's got a mind of its own. Kind of does what it wants to do. Alright, about like so. And I'll wash all that off. And I'll come up here and get me some of that light color and a little bit of white. Kind of mix them together. I don't want it real bright. Just a little bit. Get that little roll. Touch just a little bit of highlight on on that side it ain't gotta be a lot just to look like an old pole standing out here don't wanna be kind of raggedy fence post anyway and we'll pick us up just a little bit of black on our knife on the butt of it and I'll just pull some it like so then we'll bring us a string across here like this put some wire on it then we'll bring us another one across here like that put us another little wire on it and we'll come across on this one we'll put us another little wire on it Like that, right in front of the tree to make it look like the tree's still sitting in the pasture. And we'll come across with another little wire, not like so. And then we can come back here with some, with some more sticks and twigs if we want to, just to kind of make them show up some. And I'm going to say that's a done paint, ladies and gentlemen. I will pick up my script liner. And we will we'll make this um, we'll make this Circle H Farms. How about that? We'll come up here. We'll put a little H on the top of the barn. That'll kind of be our mark. Let people know who done it. I like so. And we'll put us a little circle around it. I like so. And we'll call that done, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank y'all very much for for joining me. All I'm going to do now is uh, is I'm just going to take my red and tap it right in my my uh, yeah my script liner, and I'm going to come back and just touch the top of these fence posts with the red because you know then when you cut old logs or something, you don't want to paint the top of them red. To, keep it from going rotten on you so I'm just gonna do that right quick but uh just uh comment on it share it 
Let me know what you think about it. You know, if you like it. If you don't like it, uh, whatever, you know, same old typical stuff. Tell your friends about me. Uh, channel's still growing. Just need to get as many subscribers as we can. But thank y'all for the ones we do have. And for all of y'all that come back and watch, like I've said a thousand times, I can't thank y'all enough from the bottom of my heart at how much it means to me. You'll never know. <clears throat> uh, contest is still still going and we'll end the cutoff is the 15th of May and I've got quite a few uh, entries so far so if you want to get in that contest now would probably be the time to hurry and get your paintings in I don't know what the date is of today but probably got a little over a week to to get it done uh, Just let me know. And I think that's everything. Hope y'all enjoyed this one because it was fun for me. I enjoyed painting it. Uh, I can't think of nothing else. Oh, yeah. Let me know what y'all think about, you know, wanting to send my little puppies or whatever. I may bring them into a, like a little minute or two video just to introduce them. It won't be nothing spectacular uh, they they get too much attention they go crazy <laughs> all right love you guys god loves you more y'all have a blessed night and you know just reach out share my paintings and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe y'all have a blessed night